the kids in the 60s and 70s, the youth in the 80s changed the views on the American dream. Many threats caused these differences in their lives, such as the nuclear war and the divorce of their parents. The threat of the nuclear war was seen all over TV news channels, and many teens learned about the threat. During school hours, they would practice hiding under their desks in case of a real bomb threat. One teen even said the threat, even if the threat wasn't real, it felt real. This clip shows a recording of how they were supposed to act. First, first you duck, and then you cover. And very tightly, you cover the back of your neck and your face. Duck and cover underneath a table or desk or anything else close by. This is what to do if you should be in a corridor. You duck and cover tight against the wall this way. As well as TV channels, many movies were shown about the threats, including Red Dawn, War Games, and The Day After. Not only was the nuclear war a threat to teens' lives, but the divorcing of the parents became normal. This smaller-scale threat was beginning to happen all over the U.S. With the divorce rates doubling between the 70s and 80s, many kids were sent to daycare after school. Many of the fathers after the divorce would leave the mother with the kids, making her work more hours. The daycare system would allow the mom to work more, and her children would be safe. If she couldn't pay for daycare or there were no older siblings, many children would be left at home until the mom returned home from work. These children were eventually called the latchkey kids. With all of these threats in the minds of kids, it would be safe to say that they had a lot to worry about in